Hi, this is Silicon Valley Tom, coming out to you from my house here in Palo Alto, California. I'm needing to extend this existing carport. You know, I have my board up here, which is a 2x6, you know, mounted it. I'll be putting some 2x4 to support it up vertically under the board there later. But what I'm trying to show you today is how I was able to transfer a level line over and above to where my posts will be bolted to the Simpson strong ties. These are some of the tools I'm using today, two six-foot uh, ladders and my ten-foot aluminum. I'm hoping you can see all this. I'm just going to do it as quickly as possible. So I'm going to get up here and show you how I got it transferred. I have a string right here, as you can see. It goes up and to the top. It goes over this way. This 2 by 4 is a little bit in the way. See, I'm pointing to it right here. Don't have a choice there. Pretty much level anyways with the top of this 4 by 4 that I have standing here already. The ties are below the cement because I put these in before this cement slab was poured. It's okay. It's redwood, so I'm not worried about it. Climb up here on this ladder and go ahead and show you the, the method I'm using to transfer and be able to cut the new 4 by 4 posts that I'll be putting down here. This level, I hope you can see it perfectly level. Hoping you can see that. I'll try to get various angles so that we can obtain visual contact. You should be using new string. I don't want to move this string too much, but it's it's basically level. And then over here I have a piece of aluminum clamped with a couple of cheap dollar store C clamps, which I always have in my arsenal of many clamps and tools. You need the cheap ones as well. Got an aluminum piece here. You know, I used to work in model shops, and so I used I would always have aluminum stuff. So I got this piece level. You can see, I hope you can see that. I think you can level. At this point, I have the, the string continuing. At the bottom, I have the plumb blobs in between the Simpson Strong Tie CBS44, made for finished uh, 4x4s, smooth cut 4x4s. It doesn't have to be exactly over it, but it's going to give me a pretty good idea when I measure from the this flat surface with a measuring tape up. Two strings. These are also exactly level, and I'll show you, try to show you that. Two side supports must be vertical. You must bend carefully and check with the torpedo level. When I drilled 5 8 holes, I stuck the post in the Simpson, made sure that they were level, then traced two holes from each side, so four traces, and then drilled halfway from each side till the holes met. Zero, cross this way, and again, right at the zero. So I'm not worried about any of that. And we'll go back up to the top, try to get you another shot up here. The sun is in the way, but clearly that, that we're how we want to be. So remember, the string is level, and so is the the cross beam on the on the ten foot ladder. So here I'm going to go ahead and chop up these four, this four by four. I have it measured in exactly where I want it, where it's 85 inches and a quarter. Uh, I leveled it up with boards, pieces of wood on both sides. I always keep, have a lot of shims and stuff like that. I went over here and clamped it on both sides, just snugly, uh, just so I can get it, you know, basically pretty level, not too tight, just a little bit, uh, you know, with the back of the, the saw. These clamps, this is a Harbor Freight saw, so it's kind of cheap. It's not at a wall, but it works for me. Last time I used this, I was right about five years or so ago. Um, over here, I checked all sides of the board to find out which ones were level. The way I have it laying, uh, squares actually, you can see that square, both sides, and and then I I picked which side would lay better on the bed of the saw, uh, this side or the bottom side. This bottom side lays the best, and uh, since since it's square on this side, you know I, I I was able to pick this side or this side against the the back of the saw sliding chop saw right here against this. Uh, that'll help make it uh, a perpendicular square cut. It's not going to come out perfect, but you have to anyways try your best. And it's flat as well here and flat here. Uh, I'm just going to chop this up and I'm not really going to go past that. After I get chopped to size, it will go, you know, where we showed you the level markers. It's going to get holes for big bolts like that. And, uh, and we'll bolt it up. I believe they're 5 8 bolts. They'll go somewhere at the bottom. But like I say, you can see this, the tools I use to get it. I like to clean my saw off with a brush and a straw after when I, before I put it away. I put it in my basement. So then I got the measuring tape. It's all set to 85 and a quarter. I don't even have it plugged in. Don't plug it in and watch your hands. So here we are finishing up the post. Now I'm transferring the height of this post to the next post. 
See the way I got the string attached right there in the back, just kind of looped around up to the top, over to the top, and uh, the plumb bob at the bottom is, again, we, we have uh, everything level. This time I had to resort to my larger C clamps because of the location of the bar, aluminum bar crossing on the 10 foot ladder. You would think it would have been the same location, but since it's the feet of the ladder down in dirt and on the, the driveway, you know, there are different heights from when we measured the first ones. On this first post, I, uh, you know, I cut it, drilled the holes, took it and stained it, and brought it back while it was actually still wet with the gloves and put it up carefully and bolted it up. That's it for now. Silicon Valley Tom, thank you. God bless. See you next time.